What's going on everyone, Austin John plays here, and today I'm going to be going over how you can get Heatran in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Out of all of the legendary Pokemon videos that I've made, this is the last one. This is the last legendary Pokemon that's not an event Pokemon that you're going to be able to get in the game, which I actually think means that we've officially filled up an entire box. Hang on. I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, right here would be my room for Palkia, and this would actually mean one full box of legendary mythical Pokemon that you can get from this one game. I mean, you know, both versions of the game, but still, it's it, that's crazy. This is something that I stumbled across because when I originally played through Pearl, I didn't actually do any of the post-game stuff. So after you become champion, you get access to the fight area, and that's where the battle park is for the battle tower. And if you continue on this path up here on Route 225, you eventually get to this area known as their survival area. The survival area is like the smallest town ever. There's two houses, a Pokemon Center, a Pokemon. There's another house up there. It doesn't do anything. And inside of this house to the left of the Pokemon Center, is a gentleman. This guy over here is gonna say stuff about, oh, there's a mountain and a volcano, cool. That's that's pretty much all, you're not, you're not even gonna talk to him. Anyways, from here, you're gonna make your way to the right on Route 226, up to Route 227, and then at the end of Route 227, you're gonna come across Stark Mountain. And Stark Mountain is pretty neat. There's a couple of mechanics in here that may be a little off-putting at first. First of all, as soon as you enter, you're like, okay, well, what do I do? You're actually going to be using strength to push boulders downstairs or ramps or something, which I don't think has been in a Pokemon game before. Through holes and floors, yes, but I don't remember it ever being like push it one step at a time down a ramp, and I think that's pretty cool. Anyways, while you're in here, you're going to make your way all the way to the bottom. You're going to head out the north exit, and now you're going to be coming across a guy named Buck. Buck has a Claydol, which has Levitate, and you're going to be going through this area, and you're going to be doing double battles with wild Pokemon, in the same way that you did in Iron Island and Eternal Forest. Claydol has Levitate, so if you have a powerful Pokemon with Earthquake, like my Garchomp here, feel free to just spam Earthquake. You usually knock everything out, except, you know, in case you come across a Golbat, and then you have your Rock move, and you're good for that. This Escort mission with Buck is a little bit of a pain, because you're going to see that while there's many paths that you could take with a Rock Climb that would provide you some shortcuts, you actually can't. Instead, you have to just make your way over to the left-hand side, going up and down the different altitudes, and then eventually you can leave through the north exit. Inside of here, Buck is going to be getting, what's it called, the Magma Stone? The screen is going to shake, and then nothing is going to happen in this room. And now, the part that kind of sucks a little bit, is you need to leave. You need to come all the way back to the survival area, which you could just use an escape rope and then, you know, make your way over to the survival area by flying there. And then the house to the left of the Pokemon Center, which yes, you can just walk through these trees, even though it doesn't look like you can. Once inside of here, you're going to be seeing Buck again, and Buck was scolded by his grandfather that he needs to return the Magma Stone. And he says, oh, I could do it completely on my own this time. You don't need to help me out. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, guy. Glad I, you know, had to give you an escort mission the first time. Then you need to make your way all the way back throughout the entire course, which now that, you know, Buck is no longer with you, you can use Rock Climb and get there much faster. And once you get to this final room, here's Heatran. I recommend saving in front of Heatran because you're going to be encountering him and there's a chance you could knock it out. And then if you do knock it out, you have to be the champion again and then you could come back. Heatran is a regular legendary Pokemon. Just hit it, paralyze it. Throw your quick ball turn one, throw your uh, dusk balls in the meantime, and then after turn 10, throw a timer ball. I got it with a dusk ball here. And then, there you go. You're gonna get yourself Heatran. I know this is a very, I'm just kind of skimming through this video because I did do all of this already and I wasn't in any state that I could actually speak because I was sick and I couldn't actually, you know, go through this individually. But here we are. We now have a full box of legendary Pokemon. And the most important part about Heatran is Heatran is the flag that's required for you to be able to fight the most difficult trainer in all of Pokemon. Yeah, okay. So after you get Heatran, if you make your way back to the Pokemon League, you're going to be fighting the same Elite Four and Cynthia, right? But all of their teams now have significantly higher level Pokemon. You'll know if you do this if the Yamega that you fight first is no longer level 65, but it's now level 75. And if you fight the level 75 Yamega, 
That means that Cynthia's Garchomp is going to be level 88, being a significantly more difficult battle than Red in Pokemon Gold and Silver. And that's, that's a fun thing. I wonder if they give you more money. I should look into that. Well, anyways, guys, there we go. That is how you're going to get Heatran, the last legendary Pokemon in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.